Hey, it's uh, John Melcher. Um, I wanted to give a, a little, a short training session here for our Discord site. Um, forgive me if this is a little disjointed, but I've not done this before, but um, I'm thinking this might be helpful for people. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna show you what the Discord site looks like. And this is where you should be coming after um, you have registered and reserved your hotspot. And shortly thereafter, whoever signed you up should be sending you um, our uh, onboarding process link. And that will get you into this. It'll, it'll tell you step by step, depending on whether uh, you want to uh, be a team builder or a miner. But all you got to do is just is follow the steps. So I'm going to share my screen here. And this will be uh, <clears throat> the Discord site. And... Here you go. So first and foremost, as you'll see over on the left-hand side, there's a kind of like several people that are, have their own channels, right? But here where it says iHub passive income generator, that's, that's where you want to come in and look at all of these files here. And you can scroll up and down. I've taken pictures. I've sent these to um, our team chat and et cetera but this might be a little bit more helpful. So I'm gonna start here at the top and this is what I encourage you all to do as well. When you get in here, physically get in here and start at the top. And, and Zach has done a super job of putting this together for us. So the very first, first folder is getting started. And what you'll see in here is getting started info. And this info is, this is where your, your iHub onboarding link comes from. All you gotta do is right click it, copy it, whatever it is, and then um, e uh, either email it or text it to whoever the new person is and get it to them so they can get started right away. The next thing you'll see in here is the prospecting tool. And what you have here, and many of you have seen um, probably at least two of these videos. The first one here is the short one, that's the iHub overview, short video, it's only about two minutes. The second one is a little over three minutes and it's, uh, what's Helium? Glad you asked. And I'm sure most of you have seen this as well. These are the two main videos that we send to every, everybody to take a look at. Um, some folks will start off with this one because I this is personally, this is my favorite one. And it gets them into understanding what this is about. And then the, the two minute one is just a short two minute cartoon, which I like also. But and I'll I'll flip flop these either between the, the short one or a little bit longer one, depending on who I'm talking to. Right. So you want to kind of feel it to your your audience. So the next thing down here, you'll see iHub General. And then here you have announcements, you have general information, welcome new members. This is where you'll come and, and do a welcome to John, to Kathy, to KK, whoever. But please come in here and, and do a welcome so everybody else that's in here <clears throat> can say, hey, what's going on? The next thing, there's this is the really big item here. And this will save all of you that are, that are being team builders our question and, ask, uh, question and answer page. Um, I can't say enough about this as the, the longer that you're in this group, um, the more times the same question is asked over and over and over and over. And uh, it will be beneficial for you to refer people back to here all the time. Um, down here in the bottom, you can use uh, keywords to search with. So uh, if you're looking for how many times can I send, send out a, a, a helium track assessment? Um, do I have to, uh, is there a shipping cost? Is, I mean, there's just tons of questions that are the same over and over and over. So send people here and most times or not, put in some key search words and check it out and you'll find the answer one way or another. Uh, let's see, just for, for the sake of it, uh, let's see. Is there a Zoom call today at 5 p.m.? Does anyone have the link? Now, if you've been in this for a while, there's no reason why you shouldn't know where to come to, find that link, and you'll be on your way. The only one that's not really um, a real strong link is just the corporate one. For some reason, it doesn't move over into uh, Discord, but where are you going to find the corporate uh, Zoom link. You're going to find it in your back office where the training, where the three training sessions each week is. Sign up for those training sessions. You automatically get put on the email alert and they will send you 
the uh, the alert for the training that day, and in that alert is the link. So go do that. It's an action item. Go do that. Uh, another thing here is a post boost. A lot of people like to do this, and it helps in the algorithms within Facebook. So if you go ahead and put a post uh, on your on your profile or your your main page that you go to all the time, you can come back here copy the address to that post, come back here and drop it in here and say, hey, please boost, need some love, whatever the case is. And people go there and say, hey, they'll do, you know, hearts, 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 thumbs up and, and say something, at least four words. And then that'll help uh, keep your post out there further. More people will see it. And, um, and the chances of getting a better push up in the Facebook world uh, will happen. So the next thing we come into is uh, understanding IoT, and there's uh, a whole bunch of little short five, six, seven sentences in here for a lot of these things. Like, what is IoT? What can IoT be used for? What are the communications? Uh, communication. That's uh, what's that say? Oh, where to? What are the communication standards? You know, I mean, there's a lot of things in here that are really useful that people who are just totally oblivious to what IoT is. I certainly was when I first came into this. Had no idea, idea what it was. Like, what is IoT? So IoT is says IoT or the Internet of Things can be defined as a system of computing devices that provides the ability to transfer data data over networks without requiring human or computer interaction. In short, it allows systems to communicate and work together, delivering efficiency and decreasing operational costs. And there's a whole bunch more. Why low run one? Why choose low run one? Where can I learn more? And then you come down here to helium hosting information. What is helium? How much power does it take? Will the hotspot affect my Wi-Fi? And so on and so forth. Come in here and take a look at these and read them and get to understand what the question is and a little bit about what this what this is all about. I had no clue either. So I'm, I'm brand new. I mean, I've only been here five weeks. Very short time. So come here and take a look at it. So this is the next, to me, is the next to the most important thing is the Zoom video links. This is like what I call the folder. Here is the Zoom info. The Zoom info here has the schedule for both our team and corporate schedules Monday through Friday. It has the time they're going to be. And down here at the bottom, like I was talking about, the core, the corporate link is not a bona fide link for some reason. It doesn't show up here in Discord. But our team link is the same one Monday through Friday, twice a day. Uh, right here, come in here and copy it and paste it or copy it and it'll, or not, just click on it. And it'll take you right to there. Okay. So this is where it's at Discord, Zoom video links, Zoom info. You'll find it there. Don't worry about the passcode or a meeting I or a meeting ID. Um, I don't know why it requires it, but when you copy it and put it in there, it's what it is. And then the next most important thing: all of the corporate sessions that are that we listen to uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Wednesday. Um, Zach grabs them after they've been copied and recorded and brings them over here. So every uh, corporate session we've had is in here. You can come back and listen to it. Um, stay. I'd recommend that stay with the most recent corporate link, uh, maybe within at least the week, because that is the most current information. If you go back a couple weeks, three weeks, four weeks, um, that information is old, and you're going to uh, stand a good chance of being misled. So stay with the with at least the most recent week. Uh, sometimes during our training sessions, we we'll, we will record um, our Q and A sessions. We will record these. And so you'll find whatever um, team chats that we have, either questions and answers, or if uh, Zach or Noel want to do a special training thing, and they feel it's beneficial for our team, which is 21,000 plus people, um, they'll come here and, and put it here, and that's where you're going to find it, okay? And then Zach has put in here as a, as, you know, for businesses, this is like marketing, he has articles in here, social media pictures, uh, posts, videos, et cetera, that's all in here. Um, down here in tools, we have optional antenna information, uh, Spanish tools, we have the link to the, uh, uh, to, uh, to the telegram chat, you can come here and grab that and go to the Spanish side of the house. Um, we're trying to get a uh, 
kind of like a PowerPoint together for uh, Spanish folks, because I know we have folks in, you know, uh, Mexico City and or Central America, Mexico, whatever the case is, speak Spanish, and we're trying to get that information down to them. Um, Zach has thrown in here a tax, <clears throat> excuse me, a tax deduction tracker. Uh, it's a software program I personally haven't used it yet. Team Gear Store, what's in here? Uh, really nothing. Probably we're going to get some shirts and hats, I think, put in there as well. And then with the very bottom, we have personal development. And that's where we have uh, a lot of people put in books that they like that have helped them out in uh, just making sure that you stay away from the negativity stuff, you know, uh, traction marketing, um, just positive related stuff to keep you going because, you know, uh, it can get a little depressing when things don't seem to be going your way. And so, you know, it's just a good pick me up. So anyways, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it here in uh, Discord. Like I said, the most important places start at the top. Getting started information is where the uh, onboarding process link is. Grab it, get it to your new folks. The next thing, once you started uh, prospecting, the prospecting tools is next thing. That's where the two videos are. There's, oh, I, I should bring this up too. There's a... Uh, uh, a text in here that um, Noel likes to use, and I've used it several times, a lot of success. And you can copy the whole thing. It has has both of those videos in there. And uh, um, that's a good piece of uh, text to send out to your folks that you want to, that have interest in what you're doing. So grab that and get it out there. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, if I can... Uh, um, help you at any time, please give me a shout. Uh, I'm available, obviously, by text and whatever uh, other means that you might have to be able to get a hold of me. Some people have my phone number, some people have my personal email, which is awesome. So, no, that's cool. Um, so, uh, what can I do here? I'm going to unshare this. I'm going to go back to I don't want to go back here. Stop. So anyways, folks, that's it. Um, I'm going to try and figure out how to share this with everybody in my team or for anybody else who wants to see this and uh, get this out there. All right, guys, we'll catch you later. Hope this was somewhat productive uh, and useful. All right, catch you guys later.